All right, let's get to uh, the shout out. When Matt is ready, we will get to uh, the shout out. Shout out, shout, shout out. out. Creepy. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Weird. Weird. I think that's creepy. It, 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 it's uh, incredible. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. DJ Danarchy is a genius. The shout out, shout out, shout out, sonic shout mastermind out. behind the entire Michael Brooks show shout experience. Out, out. Hello. Shout out, shout out. That's, weird. that's also creepy. DJ Danarchy. DJ Danarchy. Would that be amazing if Dennis Prager was like, oh, you know, I really just wanted to be a DJ. I don't want to be some fucking asshole. Um, are we, I thought we liked Michael Cohen, though. Uh, no, well, not actually. I wouldn't go that far. No, I don't. Of course not. <laughs> yeah. But of the Trump universe, he's just a low-grade scumbag. I like this. You're a bunch of disingenuous bastards. I do, I do like I that. mean... Tell me the lie. Shout out goes to protests across the globe to free the world's most prominent political prisoner, Luis Inacio Lula de Silva. Let's play a little bit of this video from Lula's Twitter account. These protests happened everywhere. Curitiba, Brazil, Amsterdam, in Italy, in Australia, across Latin America, also Africa. Uh, these there's are your some... shirt uh, was on that guy's calf. Oh, yeah? I missed it. I got a couple of great Lula shirts at a Lula Libre teach-in at the People's Forum in Manhattan. So we're going to and 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 on the year long anniversary of his being put in jail on unsubstantiated, politically motivated charges, barred from running an election that all polls and I have all total certainty that he would have won. He's the rightful president of Brazil. After being shut down from speaking in media, the uh, Brazilian uh, legal system allowed him to write one op ed for Brazil's. Uh, largest newspaper. Um, Brian Mayer at Brazil Wire translated it. Can we put it up on screen? Um, and he basically talks about, uh, you know, first of all, the broader reality that exactly one year ago, I was arrested for a crime of dedicating my life to the building of a more just, developed, and sovereign Brazil. They blocked my candidacy for presidency so that I could not walk up the ramp of the Capitol building pushed by the hands of every one of you so that together we could revert the dismantlement of the Brazilian state that was promoted by my persecutors. For exactly one year, I've been isolated in a prison cell in Curitiba. They have never produced one piece of evidence against me. I am a political prisoner. That's exactly right. There has literally never been one piece of evidence, material evidence against him other than plea bargain testimony. And I, and I keep saying this, this, I make no bones about the fact that even if the situation was different on balance, I would absolutely support Lula because he lifted 40 million people out of poverty, because he helped end a dictatorship, because he was a, a global ally of trade union movement, because millions went to college, because of environmental protections, because of a non-aligned uh, smart foreign policy. I mean, these are extraordinary achievements. He is the most successful president of the 21st century. But when you think of a persecution that has gone on for years by the most reactionary forces in Brazilian society, a uh, almost certainly corrupt prosecutor slash judge holding the same position, Sergio Moro, the backing of the DOJ, the Department of Justice in this, and literally all they have produced is plea bargain testimony. That's actually extraordinary. <laughs> like, it's, it's incredible how pitiful this is. Um, and really the fact that this has been a mass ideological and propaganda campaign starting with the coup against Dilma. He goes on to say, um, talk about how uh, they serve, you know, what he and, uh, for exactly one year, my enemies have searched reason to celebrate, not found one. We have suffered repeated setbacks since the coup against Pro President Dilma. It's true, but our losses have strengthened us for the fight while their victories have not given them one moment of peace. They are getting richer and richer, but their fortune gained through the millions of Brazilians, through the suffering of millions of Brazilians, does not bring them happiness. During my farewell to my grandson, 
Arthur, all of Brazil was surprised by the immense and unnecessary repressive security apparatus set up against me. Squad cars, helicopters, military soldiers carrying heavy weapons, everything to prevent me from even waving to people who came out to show solidarity with the pain of a grandfather. His seven-year-old grandson died from meningitis. Uh, this is the same grandson that stood Sergio Moro uh, in one of his searches of the Lula home, uh, took the uh, seven the child's uh, um, uh, iPad and never returned it. It was a moment that I understood that they are not afraid of Lula, they're afraid of millions of Lulas because they know that we are capable of when we unite and transform the country. Um, and he goes on and he says, a hug and forwards to victory. Um, we will certainly keep covering this on the show, which is at this point obviously no surprise to anybody, but this needs to be centered in the Democratic primary and it needs to be centered as a doorway for understanding the lethality of U.S. supported brutalism of the Bolsonaro regime and also the global spread of neo-fascism enabled by the failings of neoliberalism and a generic anti-corruption politics that has reduced politics to crass moralism and dem demagoguery and, produce, and put a, a truly extraordinary leader to be persecuted vindictively by an entire corrupt illegal apparatus and put in prison. It's truly disgusting. Uh, and I appreciate all of you who've registered that along with us. I really do. You've just watched a Michael Brooks show video, and you can watch all of our full main live shows every Tuesday night at around 7 p.m. Eastern time and subscribe to get all of the clips you want. We're covering the globe. We're focusing on international relations, the intellectual dark web. We're having fun. We're doing deep dives with a lot of amazing guests. Of course, become a patron for the whole thing at patreon.com slash TMBS or subscribe to this YouTube channel and help us keep growing and get that content out there. Subscribe below.